Hello and welcome to the high voltages. In the last video, we have learned how to simulate any circuit using Proteus. And in this video, we will be writing our first sketch. We'll simulate our first Arduino program and we'll be uploading it on Arduino. So to get started or to write the sketch of Arduino, we have to open the IDE of Arduino. So let's open it. In the video number 2, I have told you about the some functions of the menus and the buttons on the toolbar of IDE of Arduino. And now you can see here two functions, wide setup and wide loop. So what is the purpose of wide setup and wide loop? When we have to run our code once, like if we have to initialize something, if we have to declare something or if we have to define anything, we will write it in wide setup. And if we want to run our code repeatedly and again and again, we will write it in wide loop. So let's take an example. If in this pro in this video, we will be writing a program to blink a LED. So what, what components we are having? We have a LED. So in the white setup, we will be define the pin which we will connect to the LED. And in the loop function, we will define what to do with the LED. So in the loop function, we will define what to do with LED. So we will tell in the loop that we have to turn on the LED and then wait for a second and then we have to turn off the LED and then we have to turn off the LED and then we have to wait for a second again and then we have to run it again and again in a loop. So in this setup we will be defining the pin and we will be defining that which pin we are using and for what purpose we are using. So to turn on the LED and to turn off the LED, we will be using digital pin as you know that the digital pin on or off the component, it will give one or zero. One means five volt and zero means zero volt. Five volt will be used to turn on the LED and zero will be used to turn off the LED. So we have to define which pin we are using and for what purpose we are using it. So we will write pin mode. Now it will take two inputs. Number one, which pin we are using and for what purpose we are using. Let's take any digital pin and write, let's say nine, then comma. For what purpose we are using, we have to generate the output. So we will write output here. Then bracket close and semicolon so what we have wrote we have written that we are using pin number 9 to generate output what type of output we are generating output which is digital that means it will give 1 to turn on the LED and it will give 0 to turn off the LED now we have to write what LED will be doing uh, or what is the main code so in the loop body, we will be writing digital write. Remember W is capital and M is capital in pin mode. So we will be writing, we have to write digital or we have to generate digital output. On which pin we have to generate digital output, we have to write the pin number so 9 comma and what output you have to generate either it is 0 or it is 1 or you can write it as high or low high for 1 and low for 0 so we have to turn on the led so we will be right we will be writing high bracket close and semicolon then we have to we have to hold on for a second so we will write delay to hold and then we will write the time in millisecond so if we have to 
turn on the LED for one second, we will write 1000 millisecond. That means one second and bracket close and semicolon to terminate the statement. So now your LED will be on and after one second, it will be on again as we have not written anything under delay. So we have to turn off the LED. So we will write again digital write 9 comma low now it will help us to turn off the LED so <clears throat> what it will do it will be turning on the LED and then wait for a second and it will turn off the LED and then loop will start again and it will turn on the LED so after turning off the LED we have to wait for a second so we will write delay Again, same statement, thousand, bracket close, semicolon. So, this is the program which will be blinking the LED. So, so let's summarize. Pin mode here is defining which pin we are using and for what purpose we are using digital write 9 means the pin number it, it means then write digitally on pin number 9 and write high means give 5 volt at pin number 9 and delay means to wait for a to wait for some time and thousand means thousand milliseconds and it means to delay for one second Digital write it will turn off the LED and then it will wait for a second Now what we have to do is to simulate our project before simulating. Let's save this project So now we have to simulate our project for so for simulating your project open Proteus And in the component list, find Arduino. You will not find Arduino as it does not come with Proteus. So you have to install the library of Arduino. For that, go to the link below given in the description and download. And once you have downloaded, it will be a WinRAR file. So extract it in the Proteus folder and then going into the library. In the library, extract the file. Now restart the Proteus. And now again go to component list and here write UNO and you will be able to find Arduino UNO. So now what are the other things we are required LED and a resistor why we are using resistor to limit the current now wire the positive of LED with pin number 9 and the negative of LED with resistor and the other pin of resistor with a ground Okay, now go to your Arduino IDE and click on compile or verify. It will compile your sketch and af after some time a message box will be appear with some links. And here you have to find the .hex file. Here you can find the .hex or hex file. Copy that by using Ctrl C and then go again to Proteus. 
double click on the Arduino and here in program files paste that copied thing and click on OK and the value of resistor is too high we have to reduce it we let's say 200 ohms ok and now click on run now you will see that your LED will be blinking will be turning on for a second and will turn off for a second and then it will turn on and it will be running forever in this way you will you can simulate your Arduino programs now let's upload it in Arduino board to upload your sketch the first thing you have to do is to connect Arduino if you will be connecting the Arduino first time with your PC your PC may be required to install some drivers and allow it to install the drivers from here and after that go to your Arduino IDE and click on upload after some time your sketch will be done uploading so you have uploaded your sketch and you have simulated your first Arduino program let's and now let's see the result of your first catch thank you for watching and in the next video we will be doing something more than that thank you and subscribe my channel for more